quantum cryptography is not one of these ideas that only exists in a scientist's mind. Uh, it's actually something we can do quite practically. And we did this quite some time ago here at the Center for Quantum Technologies uh, on NUS campus. Uh, the method we, we used is based on an idea of the director of our center, Arthur Eckert, and that uses entangled photon pairs. Entangled photon pairs have a, a funny property that, that, um, that persists over no matter how far these photon pairs are separated and can be used to establish a secret key. Now what we did is we have here a, a source of entangled photon pairs. You can see a, a relatively large setup which uh, takes a blue laser, uh, sends it into a nonlinear optical crystal and breaks up these blue photons into a pair of infrared photons. And we took one of these infrared photons and sent it from the rooftop of the, uh, one of the science buildings to a rooftop of another building at, at the other end of the campus. And by measuring these entangled photon pairs, we were able to establish a secret key of a few hundred bits per second at the time. Now, you can buy commercial devices that, uh, that use a maybe less sophisticated technique to establish a secret key and that have been used uh, to, for example, communicate uh, election uh, outcomes or, or link data centers already. Um, but here in, in CKT, we try to figure out ways to uh, maybe provide the next generation of these uh, quantum key distribution methods or understand where the vulnerabilities of, of practical systems lie. The cryptography demonstration in NUS was done almost 10 years ago when I was still a PhD student in Christian's group. I first heard about quantum cryptography when I was an undergraduate. Uh, this must have been in 96 or 97 when Arthur Eckert first came to Singapore. And I remember listening to him talk about his idea of quantum encryption. And I was telling myself, it sounds really interesting, but it must be really impractical to do this. So it was really quite uh, you know, interesting how it turned out that I spent most of my PhD uh, trying to build technology for quantum encryption. And then actually now I'm leading a research group uh, to talk about long distance uh, quantum encryption.